Hi, I'm Aria from the White Squall Paddling Centre near Perry Sound, Ontario, just off of Georgian Bay. And I'm here to talk to you about paddling in the wind. Windy conditions, you want to speed up your cadence and shorten your stroke. This increases momentum and stability and is more efficient. So whenever you hop into your kayak, you want to be nice and loose with your hips. This means that our feet are on the foot pedals, our thighs are on the thigh braces, and we're nice and braced inside our kayak. That way we can wiggle our hips and still be stable. Edging results in less exposure of your deck to the wind, helping you stay on course. Press down one bum cheek into your seat and your boat will tilt slightly to that side. You'll naturally feel pressure on the opposite knee up into the underside of the deck, giving you lots of stability. Paddling into light wind coming off your side or bow quarter, kayaks usually want to turn towards the side the wind is coming from. We call that weather caulking, and it's just like a weather vane on a barn roof. By edging gently on that side, you can keep on course with slight sweep strokes or just strong forward stroke on the same side you're edging. It's perfectly legal to take as many strokes as you need on that one side. Paddling into stronger winds means having to ramp it up a bit. A stronger edge and strong sweep strokes are very necessary to keep you staying on course. Strong edging and front wheel drive strokes are great for paddling into wind, but when we go downwind, steering strokes at the stern are often needed to turn or stay on course. A stern rudder works the same as steering a canoe from the stern. Rotate your body and place the paddle to the back and push the blade outward slightly to steer the kayak to the side your paddle is on. If you want to turn to the other side, just switch sides. Paddling in the wind gets easier the more you do it. You just need to remember to ramp up your speed and tell that wind who's boss.